Lord, we need to be restored. Our families are crumbling, being destroyed every day. Crime is running rampant throughout the country. The family life we once knew has now been destroyed by our government. Lord, we need to be restored. King David found himself in this predicament. He had done wrong. God used the prophet Nathan to bring this wrong to his attention. And isn't it something, even while you're doing it, you know it's wrong. David knew that wasn't his wife. He knew Bathsheba belonged to someone else. Uh, but have you ever had something to come over you that in spite of the wrongness, you just had to? Or oh, would somebody talk to me? <laughs> just, just one time. And that one time lasts for <laughs> years. <laughs> you ought to stop while you are ahead. Yeah. He murdered a man for no reason. And God sent the prophet uh, Nathan to show him where he was wrong. But I like David. David wasn't like some of the men we know. Mm. Hold to the lie. They will hold that lie till they die. They will not let that lie go. They'll put it on their mama's grave. Knowing they lying, understand. David realized God was a loving, kind father. He says, have mercy according to your loving kindness. I know I got to pay for this. I know there are consequences for everything you do. But be your loving God. I know you love me. So according to the multitude of thy tender mercy, blot out my transgression. Uh, David's call for mercy is the only appropriate request for a confessing sinner. No sinner should go to for God and say, God, just give me justice. Because you're in trouble. If he was to give you just what you deserve. For that means that uh, judgment and ruin will be given to you. But mercy and forgiveness is God's gift to the confessing sinner. So I don't understand why you got folk, Christians who do wrong, don't want to confess it. That's the best thing in the world you got. Yeah. Even when the Lord forgives, he does not tarnish his just character. We must all realize that confessed sins are covered by the sacrificial blood of Jesus, his son on the cross. Huh. The Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, that's because of the blood. He is just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
there is no sin that you could do that God cannot forgive. Yes, I stop out to tell you uh, if you just tell God, uh, restore me. Have mercy on me. Oh, forgive me. I'm sorry. God will. Oh, somebody tell them God will. God will. Hear your prayer. He will forgive you. He loves you. You are his child. Don't worry about what folks say. God loves you. No matter where you are. No matter what you've done. Oh, he loves you. Put your arm around yourself. Say, God loves me. Oh, yeah.